Well, the New York Times is being ridiculed after declaring Senator-elect of Pennsylvania John Fetterman one of the most stylish people of 2022. Now, they chose 93 people and also things, also making the list, uh, the spotted lanternfly, um, the James Webb Space Telescope, and Queen Elizabeth. So kind of an unorthodox look, but also Fetterman has an unorthodox look for a senator, kind of an unkempt exper uh, exp uh, excuse me, appearance, many people might say. <laughs> Others have said he looks like uh, a little bit like Gru. Uh, that's up <laughs> to you. Uh, but, you know, it's interesting because a lot of people would say, listen, a senator should be wearing suits. He should be more refined. And Fetterman has said he will follow the dress code and wear a suit in the Senate. However, I don't know, the most stylish list? Hmm. Joining me to break it all down, Tennessee representative and member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Representative Tim Burchett. Uh, Congressman, great to have you with us. Uh, I, I have to say, I know that he was credited by the New York Times as bringing Carhartt to Congress. Mm -hmm. Not so much. No. No, ma'am, I actually brought Carhartt to Congress four years ago, and I'm currently wearing one of their stylish jackets today. Um, and if you go to East Tennessee and get one, you ask for one for a Tim Burchett-style Carhartt. Um, I remember AOC even said, hey, Burchett, that's your brand. I really wasn't sure what that meant. I asked my daughter. She said, Dad, it's cool. I was in an elevator when I first got elected. It gets up above 60, and I'm under contractual agreement where I don't have to wear it when it gets below, when it gets above 60. Oh, good. So I was in the elevator, and Maxine Waters, in fact, said, are, are, you, are you that boy that always wears that, uh, that barn coat? And I said, yes, ma'am, I am. And she said, why do you wear that thing? And I said, ma'am, it's just like me. I said, it's American-made, it holds up under pressure, and it's cheap. And she laughed and said, we're going to be good friends, and we have been. <laughs> so it's quite the unifying thing, and, you know, for him to come out for that, I mean, New York Times, it's more fake news, ma'am. What well, do you think? They didn't expect? do the research. You know? Yeah, it's interesting. I want to get yeah. your th thoughts on this, because obviously you have great style. I used to be an editor at GQ magazine a long time ago, so I have an opinion on men's style also. But in 2020, GQ, Ma GQ magazine declared John Fetterman an American taste god. Uh, and I have to say, back in the day when I worked there, the editor-in-chief, Art Cooper, would have disagreed vehemently. Uh, a gentleman, especially in Congress, should be wearing a coat and tie as you are. And I like how you add the Carhartt as personal flair. Yes, ma'am. I'm not even sure if, he, if, if all his spelling is correct on his tattoos, ma'am. So I don't know where they get this stuff. These people up in New York, ma'am, they talk funny. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the cold weather that gets in their head. But obviously, they haven't done. They did. They're very lazy in their research. You could have asked anybody. And as a matter of fact, I just had my Carhartt Christmas right here. There I you had, go. I had Louis. I had Louis Gomer playing the guitar, and um, and one of the good doctors followed him up, and it was a Carhartt Christmas. And so um, <laughs> it, it lasted from twelve to twelve fifteen because I'm fiscally conservative. But I like that very no very well planned. I mean, it, it's just a slap in the face of, of uh, to people like myself when they when the New York Times does zero research and does something and it just shows point. just how ignorant they are of true fashion sense, I guess. <laughs> and you clearly have it, uh, Representative Tim Burchett. Great style, uh, bringing the beard back as well. I love it. Thanks so much for joining us to talk about something you're probably not used to talking about. Well my, well, my beard, you know, my wife got on to me. She said, honey, I want you to grow a beard. And I said, I'm not going to grow a beard. So I compromised and grew the beard. <laughs> Good man. Right. Uh, Bob Sellers is nodding right yeah, over here. That's Good a, man. That, that's how you stay Stylish, married. <laughs> Stylish and very, very smart. Thank you so much, Congressman. Appreciate it. It's thank like you, your wife. You're quite the fashion plate yourself. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to be good friends. <laughs>